This is Gary Clarence with his twin sons. The three-year-old boys were found dead by police alongside their four-year-old sister on Tuesday night. Police were called to this substantial Victorian house in southwest London at about 9.30pm. A 42-year-old woman's been arrested and is being questioned on suspicion of murder. I would like to reassure the local community that we have made an arrest in this incident and we are not looking for any further suspects. We also have additional officers on patrol in the area that can deal with any community concerns that arise. Finally, I would just like to say that we have specialist detectives who are currently working very closely in providing support to the family. Friends have described the couple who lived here as lovely people. They've been named locally as Gary and Tanya Clarence. They had four children. The youngest three, who were found dead, were, according to neighbours, severely disabled and suffered from a life-limiting genetic condition. One I never saw out of a wheelchair. She was in her, in her buggy. Um, the other two were, were moving about with, with difficulty. This is a quiet and affluent area of south-west London. Now, people who live here have been expressing their shock and dismay at what's happened. And throughout the day, forensic officers have been going in and out of the property as they continue to gather evidence. People from the community have also been expressing their condolences, leaving flowers and gifts. We just wanted to show that we care, you know, just a mark of respect. It doesn't make any difference, it doesn't help in any way. But, you know, we've got small children in the family, so, um, yeah, just to, to show that we're thinking of them. The family moved into this house in the last year after it was renovated. They were originally from South Africa. Neighbours say Mr Clarence was on holiday with his eldest daughter at the time the incident happened and is now making his way home. Alex Rossi, Sky News, South West London.